What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm doing a video about Keepa and CamoCamoCamo.com. These are data websites that keep track of Amazon prices and kind of put them in chart form. And I've been asked in the comment section of my videos about how I use these and if you should use them and um, about the research process for doing retail arbitrage. So I've got some examples here. Here is Keepa. Dot com. This is usually where I go. Uh, Camel 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 has kind of fallen off a little bit over the years, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of the Keepa data, though, is under a um, account where you have to pay. But you can get enough data where you can make an educated decision. I don't pay for it. Um, I don't need to use it because when you're researching a product, you don't want to rely just on this Keepa information. There's so much to look into. You need to look at Amazon sales rank. You need to look at perhaps Keepa, um, the reviews, the quantity of reviews. You don't want to sell a product that has like a one-star review from 35 people because uh, you probably get returns and it might not sell as well. And uh, maybe the most important thing is competition. Uh, if it has a high rank and a lot of competitors, you probably are going to have a hard time selling it. If it has a high rank and zero competitors, you might have an easy time selling it. So this is all kinds of factors you have to look into when you're doing research. So here's a chart for the Amazon price history of this Lydia Dietz Beetlejuice pop figure. And you can see that over time, since it was put on Amazon in 2018 of November, it's went up quite a bit in price. So the low here has been like 16, 17, and it is selling for pretty consistently all these little blips our sales and none of this data is completely 100% accurate it misses some of the sales it's going to miss um, some of the low points some of the high points but overall it gives you a pretty good idea it's selling pretty well if you found this for $15 or maybe even $20 it might be something you'd want to pick up also with Keepa you can come down here to this statistic window which is what I use probably the most and it will give you an idea of what the lowest price was, the highest price, and the average price. So let's just say you scan this and there were no sellers involved. And Goodwill wanted $10 for it. Let's just say that. You can see that it has sold for $43. The average sale price is $35. The lowest is $15. It's a pretty safe bet that you should buy this because you're probably going to be able to sell it and make money. Also with Keepa, you can track items. You can see, I think there's, that means there's six people tracking it. You can go up here, track product. So say this was something you wanted to buy and maybe flip around the Christmas season. You could put in um, a low number like you're willing to spend $16. So you would get notified when it was 16. Uh, maybe you could purchase it from somebody on Amazon and then you could flip it again uh, later. You can see it probably went up this high just because of Christmas season. I believe this was a Hot Topic exclusive, so it's probably why this is somewhat hard to get. So people wanting this for Christmas, uh, <laughs> probably getting it, and people are spending $40 to $43, probably up to $50, because like I said, like sometimes these high points and low points don't get recorded. Yeah, if you're picking these up, in May for 15 and then flipping them for 45 there can be some money made there so here's another item this item I've actually sold before and this is the Christmas story party board game so you can see here this has a long history it's been on Amazon since July 2013 where it was selling for $15 $16 new and we're gonna re reduce this to a year here so you can see within the last year if you were picking these up in August for 15 and well this year they only sold for 30 some the previous year let me look here yeah I sold mine I believe it was in December I sold them just right before Christmas they went up to $58 and something I believe I sold mine for $59.99 actually so I sold about three of them and I knew to wait it's obvious for this product you're gonna wait until Christmas right because it's a Christmas game Let's say this was a game that wasn't Christmas themed and you can see you can just look at all the Christmases you can see how high it sells and then it just dips down so buy it when it's 14 sell you know it's just like trading stocks you know buy when it's low sell when it's high uh, this year it didn't really get up that high though as some previous years 
So yeah, it's all speculative in the end. You really don't know what's going to happen in the future. You just got to make the best decision possible. Limit your risk. Here is an inflatable Frosty the Snowman. I sold a few of these this year. If you look back in October of last year is when I think Lowe's started selling them. So somebody probably bought this for $150 at Lowe's, put it on Amazon and was flipping it for $279. And once people started getting wind of this, the price started dropping. Other people came in and it just went way down. Now, in January, I picked up maybe 12 of these Lowe's clearance and I held them all year. You can see throughout the year, they just weren't selling well. And then right around November, December, they started picking up. And I believe I sold mine for $169.99. Uh, in mid-December, I think I sold them all. Again, you can come down here, look at the statistics, and kind of get an idea of how well these things are selling. Real quick, here's Camo Camo Camo, what it looks like. If you look at the same Frosty the Snowman, you can see the data is just all messed up and incorrect. It's not as detailed as Keepa Keepa, Ke or just Keepa, I guess. Camo 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 uh, it does have three words. But just keep up. It's just not as good in my opinion. So I kind of just started using just keep up and not camel, camel, camel. Here is a Hunter Comfort Saver thermostat. I picked up at a Goodwill. I paid $4.99 for it. And when I scanned it at Amazon, I seen that nobody was selling it. There were zero sellers. The rank was high because no one had sold it. And I'm like, what? What is the value of this? Is this something that sells for 20 or 30 bucks or does it sell for 60 or $70? So looking at the price history of the last year, you can see it's been $64.99, uh, dropped down to 51, 59. You can see it dropped down lower. Let's see, yeah, that was like June, July. And um, I decided, well, that's enough information for me. So I priced mine, I think it was $54.99 is what I sold mine for. So it was very helpful in determining um, a starting price on Amazon for my unit. Again, you can look at the statistics and you can see, really it doesn't go that low. It sticks at a, a pretty good average. Here's a Moen cradle arm. This was like for a magnetics uh, shower head series that Moen was doing. These were $29.99 at Lowe's and eventually they dropped down to $5. They're being clearanced right around here. I forget how many I picked up. I picked up quite a few at five dollars but look what happens when you scan them <laughs> when i was scanning them it's like wow the, there's no money to be made in these now the reason i bought them was because i knew it was kind of a niche item people who bought these special magnetics uh shower heads were gonna have a hard time finding these when they needed them or if they needed them again so i went ahead and purchased a few of them i didn't get a whole lot maybe seven or eight of them but i looked here and i i could see that they were, you know, at least they did sell for $29.99. And I kind of just forgot about them. And then I, I checked, I found them um, in my inventory, and I said, well, let's, let's see how these are doing. And I don't know when it was. I guess they're right around August. I'm like, wow, these things are actually selling great. I sold mine for $34.99. Sold them all really quick. So you can see here, pretty good profits and... Keepa helped, but it wasn't the deciding factor. I had to factor in, I had to just predict what was going to happen and take a risk. Here's a puzzle I sold. I believe I sold it for $39.95. And when it first hit Amazon back in 2012, it was a fairly low priced puzzle. But over time, it started to go up. And this is an item I bought, had zero sellers. And I, I looked back and I see, well, this got a sale around $39 and why not price mine 39.95 it was religious themed i believe so those can those, those can do well and i priced it at 39.95 got a sale you can look in the last year you can see the data is just very poor um you want it just to be bouncing up and down this chart because that's indicating sales and action so it was a high rank i believe like two million or something in toys I had confidence it would sell because I was the only seller and it had sold before in the $39 price range. And one more thing I want to mention about Keepa before I end this video is you can actually go to the deals here and it will show you 
discounts that are currently happening on Amazon. You can keep refreshing this and it'll be different every time. You can see the average price of this, what is this, like a CD or something? $103.99, now $21.99. So you can go buy this and flip it for $103. No, you can't. A lot of these prices are wrong and in, inflated. Like this, uh, I believe this is a book. $858. Now it's for $250. You don't want to buy that thinking you're going to be able to sell it for $858. Uh, but I have used this. I have made a decent amount of money flipping things that I've found on here. It's just that there's a lot of crap, <laughs> a lot of misinformation. And you can just kind of ho hover over and see charts. The kind of chart you want to be looking for is one that's got a lot of action. And if it's too good to be true, it probably is. A lot of the books and media and stuff like that, the clothing are not worth it. You, there's plenty of filters over here. You can adjust it and then potentially find anything. I haven't messed with it in a couple years i usually just sit down while i was watching tv have the laptop up and kind of just mess around with it see if i can find anything it's a bit more of a hassle for me than what it's worth but yeah if, if you want to try it i just thought i'd bring it up you can um definitely make some money on here i have used the tracking before on certain products i was i've been trying to hunt on amazon because a lot of times third party sellers come in, they undervalue stuff. You can buy it and then flip it FBA and make some money. So the tracking feature is pretty nice. That's pretty much it. Keepa is a great tool, but it's, it's definitely a tool. It's not the holy grail on what you should be buying and what you should, how much risk you should take. Like I said, look at the reviews, the competition, um, the quality of the listing, the picture, the season, all that stuff matters. And I buy stuff all the time out of season and have to wait a year to sell it in that season to get the, the top dollar. That's it for the video, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Make sure you are subscribed so you can watch all the exciting reselling videos here on Flipping Junk. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Flipping underscore Junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.